Hey folks, Mike here and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to more of the Cuphead show. This is episode 7, Root Pact, and episode 8, Sweater Off Dead. Alright, Root Pact. I wonder if this is the, the vegetables from the game. Maybe. I don't know. Also, when are we the hell are we going to meet? When are we going to meet Miss Chalice? I love my little veggies. <laughs> They're my babies, I would say. I was watching the I intro. I them with love and care each and every day. Aw. I shine their little veggie skin and chase away the bugs. I give them water and manure and lots and lots of hugs. What a fun song. You Admit it, you sing to your vegetables. You would. You would hurt his back. Oh, my babies. <laughs> I fed them. I them. I kept them alive. He's over-exaggerating, right? Some soup? Ooh. You two are being awfully helpful. You're up to something. <laughs> oh, that's a nice touch. Like a With well, the cat all, I love it. Picture show. <laughs> yeah, I love when kids purposely act good because they want something. We take care of his babies. Uh, why'd you have to go and say it like that? <laughs> he grabbed him by the handle and he dragged him off. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice touch. You can say that again. Oh boy. We got troublemakers here. Oh, he got a pitchfork. That gonna hurt. <laughs> got an onion, a carrot. Potato? I'm real sorry, mister. We don't mean the body use. We just some Look at their cheeks. <laughs> down on our work budget the most. I'm Sal, this is Ollie, and that's Chauncey. <laughs> yeah, we don't got no way. Sal, Ollie, and Chauncey. We're, uh, orphans. Yeah, that's it. Orphans. <laughs> Wait, we're orphans? Oh man, they're like the three stooges. <laughs> Up on the waterworks, will you? The last thing we need is you peeling all over the place. Uh, and we'll all start crying. Listen, all we're asking for I mean, clearly they're lying. Soil, the rest are weary roots. Just for one night. What do you say, eh? Uh, We'd love to help. They got those, like, 30s wise guys. Out, uh, voices going. At least Sal does. If anything was happened to was the manure called Acme? That's a nice reference. Well, I love Chauncey's facial design. No, you don't know them. Oh. They're so gullible. They're just gonna pig out. Oh, there's a party. There'd be a pate. Uh oh. Oh, Muggsy's face. I love it. <laughs> they're like, like they're all drunk, but it's like water. <laughs> Ooh, that is a great shot. That pan. Oh, love it. Oh, love this animation. Oh, you don't have a hat. And the way they're blending the real environments with the animation is so incredibly well done. Oh, look at all these awesome designs. Patty, let me introduce you to some friends of mine, the Heirloom Sisters. The Heirloom Tomatoes, I love it. The corn, the asparagus, the beet. No. No. Did you say piñata? I love piñatas. Oh, Cuphead, it's so easy for you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you heard my brother. Beat it. Man, they ain't going nowhere. Damn, El Elder Kettle can slip through anything, right? No! His babies! I love how the they actually have them working. Yeah, this is how. Oh. <laughs> that was the opposite of what a scarecrow is supposed to do. Oh, those are the bees from the game, from the boss fight. I forget the name of the I forget the name of the boss's name. I don't remember the boss's names. 
This party ain't over till the sun comes up. Eh? <laughs> That is a great touch. I like that. <laughs> oh, this guy's a sucker. Do it. Manipulate him. This garden is all our poor elder cattle has left. And he's drunk off water. Without his garden, with him being so elderly and did we mention that he's old? I was gonna say he's an orphan. <laughs> He's an elderly orphan. Oh, he's peeling. Everyone gonna be crying. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, jeez. This party went sour. Oh man, all that all all that water they've been drinking is gone now. Oh god, now it's flooding. Oh no. Oh, that's it. Yay! Oh! They tears watered Elder Kettle's babies! And and then some. Alright, party's over. Yeah! Get out of here, you uh Get out of here. You know something? I'm starting to get the feeling like we ain't wanted. What? What tip for the road? They just Oh no. Oh no, don't let them do that. Stop them! Get a knife! Chop, chop, chop! No! Oh, they're they're jerks. Can they even move? Oh no, they came off the vine. And they're gone. Oh, oh. there we go. Yeah. Oh, what a twist! This old Jasper thinks we're his babies. <laughs> Looks like he ain't orphans no more. <laughs> oh, no, he gonna eat you. To make Elder Kettle's famous yep. baby stew. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say, what do you think was gonna happen? Oh, man, that was a fun one. They're all fun. All right, let's go to uh, uh, Sweater Off Dead, episode eight. Sweater off dead. Ooh. The fire and the music. More if this is a devil episode. Pancakes. Ah. Uh, those cooked rather quick. Wait a minute. This is starting off very similar to the first episode. Right? Oh my. Oh, that was unexpected. Yeah, that's how the first episode. Oh, that is awesome. So that's what they look like underneath. Their actual skeleton. Remember me? Yes, I think of you often, folks from the front yard. Your soul is mine. Oh, that is so awesome. That was amazing. Love the every second of that. No, he's still coming for you. Let's go. What? That was an that was a great opening. Trust me. There was a lot of great visual touches there. Um, Elder Kettle, Elder Kettle skeleton. The way the devil goat morphed into the devil. That was great. Ooh. The voice. <laughs> Team Famine, sir. Not only is Famine on a global upswing, but we've also branched out into hunger-induced rage. The Ooh. The numbers are through the roof. Wow. They, they do their homework. Do you know about this? <laughs> they got to quite the operation here. So this is where we do war. War? <laughs> wars are being waged with catastrophic results on both sides. We're breaking all... What an operation. I'm running this I love how over-the-top and In sassy fact, he is. Love I it. Deserve... A celebration! We got a party? Oh, he threw a party for himself. Attention, everyone. Little hat. <laughs> we haven't had a break in 3,000 years, so let's go with it. <laughs> so let's all raise a glass to me. He's not a great employer, that's for sure. Aw. Um, oh. Excuse me. 
Who is this? Oh! According to the ledger, there is one outstanding soul in Uh oh. No, don't he tell him! He played soul ball. This is he the wet blanket right here. Stickler are very Stickler. <laughs> but I'm sure it's just a clerical error. Oh no, you know who it is. <laughs> Stonehenge over there? Is that my sour fizzy jawbreaker? Hey! No! I didn't like jawbreakers. Oh, Wasn't a big fan of them. I understood the appeal, but but those big ones, those things are unsanitary. What? One last hug. Quadratus the Great and Wise. Quadratus. Yeah, he wants that. He has to wear a sweater? Basically, the sweater is impenetrable to the devil, so... Oh. Uh, you stopped rhyming. Eh, I was gonna say, that probably gets old, gets tiring to do. Oh, he has to make the sweater. Oh, jeez. That's easy to lose. Must knit the sweater. Why do I gotta throw all the work? <laughs> the sweater is only effective if it's made with brotherly love. Aww. Don't lose that thing. No! Thanks, Bugsy. I'm like, I'm like afraid he's gonna lose it. How do you knit a, an invisible sweater? Like, where, where, how do you see? Can you just throw paint on it or something? <laughs> no, paint will dry it up. You don't want to do that. Make it all crusty and hard. Oh my god, this guy. He's, he's, I love how much he's avoiding him. Ooh, someone got hit. Excuse me. Ooh, that's a nice touch. Yeah, teensy weensy thing. I'll only be a minute. <laughs> He's like, he felt so inconvenienced. Uh, nice work, stickler. Thing that'll stop the devil from taking your soul. All right, all right, I'll put it on. Ooh. Is it fit? Oh, I guess it is nice and toasty. Oh. Put it on just in time. He still has the party hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here for the soul. Let's make it sappy. Oh no! Just in time. <laughs> his, his finger. Oh boy! Oh no wait, he said that. Now, if you'll excuse us, we'll be on our way home. No, well, how do we deal with the sweater issue here? You just saw him! And that. Money! Yeah, but... Oh my god, Cuphead. He is so easily tricked. It's amazing. Make it 20! He's so easily... It's so easy to dupe him. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, the, the magic 8-ball! That's a king dot that's a king uh, king dice boss. No sweaters allowed. No. Cuphead, don't do this. <laughs> nice try. He tried. He has to get Mugman away from Cuphead. That's the key. Separate them. Hot dogs. Oh. There's <laughs> There's fine print on the actual hot dog. Wait, where did the hot dog come from? No, he has horns. Hey, Quadratic doesn't have horns. Yeah. The devil in disguise. Can we just please get home? The devil's really putting an effort. I'll give him credit. Mugman's ruining everything. Eh. Now take off that sweater. Yeah, you should try transforming into someone who doesn't fail all the time. <laughs> that was good. I'll give him that. That was good. No. It's so easy. Ooh, look at the hair on his back. Throw the the the, the liquid in your cup. Throw it on him. 
Just give him a hug. <laughs> the power of brotherly love. Of course. Of course. It's so simple. Easy. That poor forest. <laughs> Oh, that is amazing! We should go. Yeah. He's throwing a tantrum. Oh, the octopus one was great. Oh, that was even better. Oh, <laughs> I hate those cops. <laughs> and now he's gonna have uh, well, I got Stickler pe pestering him. Excuse me. Ooh. Register it. Oh. We have a tracking system in place. Every soul must be officially accounted for. <laughs> He's like, screw Oops. your book. I guess the auditor will have to do a full recount. Oh, jeez. I'm the auditor. Oh, no. That's right. Well, don't let us keep you. Bye. Basically, he won't get to bugging him Who still needs until he recounts I everything. Oh, that's kind of mean. <laughs> Finally, I can get a good nice rest. Nothing is better. Then you making me a sweater. I'd make a sweater for no other than my dearest sweet, sweet brother. Oh, look at them rhyming. Quadratus was right. The rhyming gets old. It, de <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. I love the devil episodes. All right, let's discuss. All right, yeah. Um, Again, this, this show continues just to be one thing, and it's just entertaining, and it's just fun, you know? Um, Taking a lot of, like, classic stories from previous like cartoons from back in the day and kind of just bring him into a more modern sensibility and 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 i like how we we keep getting sprinkles of the of the main story plot with the devil trying to get cuphead's soul i like how they just don't forget about that but um root pact was just that was just that was a fun one i mean that, that wasn't like that wasn't good that one wasn't you know it wasn't like wow but it was entertaining, you know, the, the, the vegetables themselves, you know, Sal and Chauncey and I forget the name of the onion. Um, they kind of had like a three stooges vibe to me. Uh, also with like, you know, a bunch of like wise guys type of type, you know, the gangster, like, you know, gangsters, you know, and, uh, I like, I like how they just, <laughs> I don't know. It was just funny to me that they're having this big party. They're all getting, you know, drunk off their butts. And they're just, they're just, you know, they're vegetables. They're drinking water. And it just, I don't know. I thought that was fun. There's a lot of cool little visual touches in that episode. I, this particularly um, when they arrive at the party, Cuphead and Mugman, and you get that sweeping panning shot of the entire uh, party. And again, the, the the blending of animation with like real, like miniature, like real sets. Like they, they have some things in there that are like actual real sets and that was really neat to see and i love the conclusion of it you know <laughs> it's like what do you think was was gonna happen he wants of course he wants to chop you up and cook you like why do you think he has vegetables for just to look at him no he uses them um and the sweater off dead was a really good that was a really good one that was a nice show that was a nice devil episode really showcasing how entertaining the devil is, you know, um, if there, and just everything about him has just been knocked out of the park by the writers of the show and by the animators. You got a lot of really great touches there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, particularly when he's starting his little tantrum at the end, and he's transforming to all those different types of creatures. That octopus looked really neat. Um, and I, I just like, again, I like how we're constantly you know, every few episodes we're getting that devil episode and, you know, trying to capture Cuphead's soul, you know, uh, King Dice failed, the devil himself just failed. Uh, and the devil seemed like he was perfectly okay with just forgetting about it. You know, he just wants to celebrate his achievements. You know, operations are through the roof. You, you heard the percentages. You heard everything was up. Wars, famine, uh, hunger-induced anger. <laughs> like, <laughs> they got quite, you know, quite the business going there for souls. And, you know, I, I like the idea of, like, the one thing that is preventing the devil from getting Cuphead Souls is it's an invisible sweater. It's, it's just, we don't need really an explanation. Just go with it. It's there. 
Uh, there's one thing in this episode really, again, really hammers home. And I said it during Root Pact, and it's like Cuphead is so easily manipulated. Like, it's so easy to trick him. You know, the devil offers him $10 to take off the sweater. And it's like, Cuphead, you, you get your soul. You don't get to use that $10. And then his, and, you know, when Mugman argues that, he's like, yeah, make it 20 <laughs> Like, Cuphead, come on, bro. But, um... But yeah, these are just so so fun. If there's some, if there's any references, specific references to any other shows that were in these two episodes, let me know in the comments because a lot of you are seem are a lot better that of knowing that than I am. Like I know some, but some of you have been really like in the comments, been like pointing out some shows I haven't even thought about, which is really great. Uh, Betty Boop being one of them in the one episode. Um, I did notice the Acme on the manure which is a great reference there uh but but yeah folks that's all i got for you today these were really great as always and uh stay tuned for another cuphead reaction i'm going back to two episodes of video i think that just seems to be more ideal honestly but uh but yeah thanks so much for watching if you uh really enjoyed this video i appreciate a like on the video and uh subscribe if you really enjoyed uh got a lot of other content on the channel we're uh we're 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 trucking along but yeah folks have yourselves a great day Bye.